Welcome to the Agri R&D Blackgrass Centre here at Rookery Farm Stolonga. We've actually been working on trials here since the year 2000 and starting with a very modest uh, trials program looking at a coded product really called O4H which then of course became known as Atlantis. At the time we had some very good results but we knew over years as across the world SU chemistry starts to fail um, with resistance that so we needed to do something else. So we started some cultural control trials here in 2002 and really looking then at stale seed bed techniques, seed rates, uh, drilling dates, varieties and how competitive they are. But then it became quite apparent by 2010 that we really needed to start to look at cultural control through establishment techniques. So now we'll take a look at the summary from 2013 and look at the impact of establishment techniques on blackgrass. The first part of the blackgrass work at Stolonga looked at varieties and here we can see a range of wheat varieties and here we're studying the competitiveness of each variety. There are big differences, so really variety choice is a fundamental starting point. Blackgrass itself, here is one plant on the site, 35 ears on the plant, 100 seeds per ear. So we have a potential of 3,500 seeds returning from that one plant alone. Hence why you can see the cultural control activities on the graph that we've looked at over a number of years through from the potential seed to start with all the way through looking at cultivation techniques, stale seed beds, delaying drilling and seed rates right down to variety. But today all we're going to really consider is the cultivation practice and its reduction on black grass plus the drilling date which is still of fundamental importance. Here you can see the site in 2013, it was wet and we move into the work where we can start to see from 2010 the impact <coughs> on black, black grass through a range of cultivation practices. The black grass numbers you can see here are potentially high. Here from 2010 but now shot in 2013 is the min till pass system where there are plenty of black grass plants to see. The impact of ploughing 2010 in June 2013 is appreciable. So here a big reduction in black grass. And here you can see uh, between the blue lines the impact on the lowering of black grass numbers. Now moving into the deep one pass system from 2010 we had good impact on black grass numbers in the first year but now you can see the black grass numbers starting to climb. Here in the later drilling of the Clayton and uh, the direct drill system, plenty of black grass in the shot as you can see, but certainly a later drilling from 2010 reduced the black grass in the first year, but now they have come back to the, the high levels. Here in the early drill Clayton is just the same, but we had a, a very much higher level of black grass from the earlier drilling slot. So the next series of graphs shows the value of ploughing from year one and not only in and control but also in margin. So year one's black grass control had a large impact on the population in this field. We move into year two where we drilled all seed rape either with a direct drill or after ploughing. Here clearly you can see the difference between where we've ploughed the plough in this situation all we've done is ploughed the black grass back up so clearly not a good idea but where we've ploughed after a direct drill we have made another massive impact on black grass populations. Here we can see direct drilling after direct drilling but drilling earlier this is the 27th of September and there is a clear impact here. We've left the black grass on the top, direct drill back into it with a, with a great burden. The graph is showing the clear difference between ploughing in 2010 and direct drilling in 2010. Here now we move into the clay and later drilling, so now on the 1st of November, and whilst we have a plant you can see that it's a bit thin. However, the black grass score on the graph shows complete difference in black grass control. Moving into a two-pass system, so here even though we drilled on the 1st of November on wet ground, there's certainly a, a good enough plant established. Here we're now looking at ploughing, and this is now ploughing and drilling later, so on the 1st of November. A good plant stand, and you'll notice very little black grass within this, so here ploughing plus later drilling, showing some very low levels of black grass within the crop. 
into the early drilled section with the plough. So ploughed at exactly the same time as the other, but now drilled the 27th of September. And the impact on black grass here is good, but you can still see black grass within the crop. So it's not just a matter of ploughing, but ploughing well, getting most of the seed down, but still some will be near the surface in the germination zone. And this is clearly showing where we have drilled that much earlier. So really, it is a combination of the plough plus the drilling date. Ploughing late here after the plough. So we've decided ploughing after ploughing is not a good move. But having said that, if you drill late enough, you can still get yourself out of trouble. I'm moving into plough after the plough, but this time drilling earlier. So now we're at the 27th of September drilling and the impact on black grass can be clearly seen. So ploughing the plough, not a good idea. And in this situation, of course, we've brought the black grass back to the surface, drilled earlier, and we now have 403 ears per square metre. Moving into the results there, dramatic difference in black grass control. The left-hand side of the cane shows where we ploughed and drilled uh, later, and on the right-hand side where we ploughed and drilled earlier. The difference here between the 27th of September and the 1st of November. So hopefully what I've been able to do is to give you a short introduction into the black grass that we are doing here at Stow Longer. The black grass issues won't go away unfortunately and is spreading across the country. But nonetheless we are being proactive in the way we're trying to approach the problem. All of the agri-agronomists have the data that I've shown you today and far more besides and it's very vitally important that we continue to investigate black grass as the issue certainly isn't disappearing. So we'd love to see you here in uh, spring and the summer of 2014 and uh, would welcome the opportunity to show you this work uh, personally.